Do y'all realize that it was three years ago, almost to the date that Red Table Talk started, and now it has become like a part of the culture, the vernacular, it's in songs, you hear it everywhere. Did you have these kind of dreams or has it just gone blown past your wildest dreams? I say pass. Yeah, Way 100%. Pass. We had no idea it was going to be this. Yeah. It was a passion project that yeah. started on Mother's Day, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And then Ellen came and she was like, what are you guys going to do with this three generational situation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, well, you know, we've been approached a couple times, but Willow was young and she was like, I think we should do something. So I went to Willow and I went to Gammy because Willow was older. Because when we yeah. first did it, Willow, how old were you? 11? Might have been, yeah, 11, 12. So six years later, because wow. we started when you were like 17. We started again when oh, she was wow. like 17, 18 years old. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. What has been the moment for y'all? What has been your favorite moment of, of this journey? There has been so much uncovering on this journey that we've been on with Red Table Talk, and I feel like my, the part about the whole process that I cherish the most is just getting to know the women in my life in a more, just a deeper way and getting to really know them as not just my grandmother and not just my mother, but as the individual women that they are. That's kind of yeah. how it started, her asking, Mom, you know, I want to know you and not just you as my mother. I was like, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I mean? Who are you? Who were you? I think you said something like, who were you before you were my mother? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a conversation. But there's been so much healing, yeah. you know, just and for so us as bonding. a bonding yeah. and healing as a family. And um, it's been so nice to just be. Um, I don't know, just more authentic. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, just as a family. I really felt like you needed an opportunity to tell your story at mm -hmm. least, and then people can decide whatever. You what know? they want to believe. Whatever they want to believe. Been given the chance. chance. Right. People have found this comfort zone, though, with y'all, where they are coming to you and they feel safe at the table and they talk to you. And that's a rare thing in this business. You know, that's something you have to build up. So how has that been? Wow. I think it's been beautiful. Yeah. You know? I, and I think Jada really sets the tone for that. 100%. Yeah, I tend to be, uh, and I'm working on it, <laughs> <laughs> but I tend to be um, a little judgmental. And but so I mean, I'm she's a boomer. That's what we yeah. love, though, because Gammy is <laughs> That's why like the voice of the audience. Yeah. yeah, she is. Let me tell you, it's Team Gammy all day. Exactly. Like, and so people are like, you know Gammy's going to come to the table. With she the real, real. Right. She ain't coming with all that fluff, fluff. <laughs> it's been a yeah. real learning experience and an opportunity for me to just, just try to open my mind up and just be a little bit more uh, easy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With, with things and with change. You know what I mean? You can't you can't just stay stuck in this world. But this has been different for you because you are the voice of the audience yeah. and you have also turned out to be kind of the breakout star Ooh, and yes. the sex symbol. <laughs> and, and let's not forget the sex symbol, sex symbol. of it all. <laughs> let's be real about it. When did that happen? <laughs> when did it happen? You when got you... a grown man telling you that that's what's happening. Listen. Already you were getting a lot of love, and then you posted the bathing suit pictures. Yeah, and the, and Jada the world. did that. <laughs> Willow took the picture, and Jada posted it. <laughs> Kevin's like, mm mm. Mm -hmm. How has that been for you? I mean, it's been great. It's been great. I mean, it's all good fun. I don't, I don't take myself too seriously. Come on now. I'm 67. I, I know. I, I try that to you stay in my mama, lane. Okay. That's the craziest, th craziest thing ever. Yeah. Ever. A lot of dudes slipping in your DMs now, right? Like, like <laughs> dudes trying to slip up in there and hit you up. And I don't even know if you know how to get in get those DMs. I don't. I don't. I she don't know nothing. You're going to have to teach her how to get in those DMs. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to from the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what are y'all doing this year for Mother's Day? Because I know you do it big. What will you do this year for Mother's yeah, Day? What are we doing? I think we're just going to have a real chill barbecue. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, so, and celebrate together. Yeah. yeah. And just chill and eat and by the way isn't it kind of cool when your children follow in your footsteps a little bit and pay tribute to you that's kind of cool isn't it it's i told all the kids i say you will do bigger and greater things than your parents right not in the same way necessarily mm -hmm. but like when i look at 
Willow, Jaden, and Trey. Trey in a much different way. Willow and Jaden have followed our footsteps as far as, you know, being in the business and what have you. But Willow, her musicianship far exceeds, I believe, both her parents. <laughs> far, 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 far exceeds. I would agree you. with that. You know what I mean? And so when I look at her as a musician, as, a, as an artist, I'm so proud of her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you've been doing it, mama. Yeah, you've been doing absolutely. it. And this new record, it's an alt rec, it's an alt rock record. Yeah. Right? So it's a little bit following your mama's footsteps. To I mean, I wouldn't, I, it's a little bit. I mean, punk and heavy metal are very, very, very different. different. Yeah. Um, but, but they are definitely in the rock world. Yeah. They're, 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 I would say they're cousins. Yeah. I wouldn't say siblings, because that's a little too close. Right. But cousins. When Beyonce said my name was <laughs> Girl, I made it! I made it! <laughs> Have you all had a favorite guest? Mm. Oh. I've had several. Yeah, I wanna... I wanna say, I don't think it's come out yet, but um, the professor that we just had... I'm talking about the, Michael Dyson. Yeah, Michael oh, Dyson. Dyson. Yeah. Oh, talking with him was spectacular. Yeah. I, I just loved his mind and his intelligence and how he just thought about how he thinks about the world. It's mm -hmm. just, it's so amazing. Willow's such an academic, so. <laughs> yeah. She actually <laughs> shouldn't have gone to college, but. I might still. Yeah. Don't, don't. So when Michael came, uh -huh. she felt like she was in one of his classes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I was like, yeah. I'm at a lecture right now. <laughs> you know what? I think I, there's been so many, but what really comes to my mind was just such an honor was Dr. Angela Davis. Mm. 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 Yeah, that was that was a powerful moment for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably that was a powerful moment for mm -hmm. all of us. One hundred percent. Yeah, but there have been so many. There have been so have. many. Yeah, I can't even say that there's one for me. No. Yeah. Not one. Like I always love when um, people can come and 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 share their truth and feel so well taken care of. Yeah. yeah. You know, we've had so many that have um, come and needed to share their stories. Um, and felt like Red Table was the only place and then actually shared their story and we would get an email from them or an yeah. email from their team and it makes me feel so good when people feel like when they call and they go, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, this was a this is a streaming platform and at first people were like, oh, a streaming platform, how's that gonna work? How's it gonna, hey, how's it gonna be? Were there, were there those moments figuring it out? Because now people know when, where, how. It's like you adapted almost a generation to this kind of programming, what what did that mean, and how did you how did you work that out? It was really important to me when we were shopping it. Of course, we had networks that wanted it and what have you, but I knew that Facebook Watch was going to give us the opportunity to make the most authentic show. Yeah, and I also knew that they were going to follow our lead, mm -hmm. and that's what I felt was really important. That. They, that team over there, really believed in the vision and they believed in our leadership in regards to how we wanted to make this show. And I also wanted a community. Hmm. You know, I wanted a community so that when the conversation was over, when we were done, that there were people that could still gather, yes. talk, and commune about whatever and heal was together. And heal together. So yeah. there's been like different red table talk communities all over Facebook that have popped up, yeah. you know what I mean? And so yeah. that's also been a, a really deep blessing and treasure. You know, it's an interesting thing you mentioned about a place where it's not going to be sensationalized and people can feel free to speak their mind and everything. And that's a problem that happens is that everything gets sensationalized. And, and you guys have figured out the way to amp it down. I mean, Gammy, I, mean, I do appreciate how you got after <laughs> Olivia J. I do appreciate that. Oh, but, my uh, goodness. <laughs> oh, God. So let me ask you if you have a clear understanding of what white privilege really is now. But what is the, what is that like when people come in here and they are, they're nervous, they're scared, they're worried. All of them are. Yeah, everybody I, is. Yeah. It is so interesting because I always try to like remind them that it's like this is not a place where we just sit and judge you. Like this is a place yeah. where we openly co converse and about. And we're not trying to attack anybody, yeah. even me. I'm not trying to attack anybody. That's Speaking not your really mind. the goal. <laughs>
It's also important that we see a black family having these conversations, generational, that everyone can come together and sit down and see that. How important have you seen a change? Because I know for black folks, it's like, okay, we can talk, we can all sit down and talk about this right. and fix it. Right. Yeah. For me, like when I'm out in the street, it's all people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 of yeah. course, for the black community, you know what I mean? Because we're black, so of course the black community, they Who's like, gonna extra be right, right, you know what I mean? They're like, <laughs> thank you for showing up for, you know, for yeah. us. But I think people in general, like I have all kinds of people from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I mean, people I would never even think are watching Red Table Talk from 60 year old white men to like, you know, 16 year old boys. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just so beautiful that um, we've been able to connect with such a variety, you know, so many groups of, of people from different generations and from different countries mm -hmm. and, you know, from different economic backgrounds, you all know. All on a common ground. All on a common ground expression. of just trying to figure out how to live a happy, authentic life. Will, how about you? What have you learned about these two or what have they taught you through this experience? I, I think that just, even not in the immediate like show circumstances, but in hearing their stories and in hearing what they've been through together uh. in their past, um, seeing how intense the evolution has been mm -hmm. from where you guys st started at and how your relationship started yeah um and how much your relationship has grown mm -hmm. because you individually have grown is it crazy listening to your child say these kind of things like it's amazing to listen to you say these really adult thoughts and process that we all need to kind of take in. Well, see, this is the thing. Willow's been talking like that since she was born. <laughs> Willow's always been beyond her years. Yeah. She and, and, and Jaden both. Um, but I think what I am most impressed with, with Willow, is just the um, courageous young woman she has become to, to you. you know, just be who she is. and. Mm -hmm you know, and, and live in her truth. And, and that could be a little difficult for her age because, you know, with social media, we didn't have social Ooh, media. Right. You know, we didn't have to contend with Instagram and all of that. And so it makes it even more challenging to do you mm -hmm. versus what everybody else is doing. Exactly. You know what I mean? Is there a guest you're dying to have on the show? You know, I get asked that all the time, and I have to be honest with you. I am so grateful yeah. for every single guest we have ever had on this show, because I understand, um, you know, the red table is something that's a little different. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? And let me tell you something. I have the utmost respect, utmost love, and the deepest appreciation for every single guest we've ever had. Yeah. yeah. You know, so there's no one person that I could say, oh, I would love to. I'm deeply appreciative of yes. anybody who gives us the opportunity. Yeah. Anybody who wants to sit at that table. Exactly. But people want to come to the table now. And that's got to be, di it's different now because people are like, oh, I'm going to go to the red table, <laughs> y'all. Right? And uh, now, how do you manage that? from where people now are like, oh, well, I'm, I'm gonna promote my stuff and go to Red Table. Yeah. Where you guys really try to have authentic conversations here. Yeah. And people wanna come in and like, That's a yeah, really they do. Thing. It's a big thing. It's a big thing. And, and, and you really have to be ready. I think people think that they wanna come and then when they get here, they, they see that it's it's not as easy exactly. as, you, as you think it's gonna be. And you really have to be ready. You really have to know and feel secure in who you are and what you're talking about if you're ready. Cause so a lot of times there's a lot of judgment that yeah. you will be hit with that you may not be ready for, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and that's not necessarily what, what we want, but that is just how the world is. The nature of media. And we're yeah. going to do... The you, nature of human beings. Yeah. We're we, judgmental creatures. Yeah. And we're going to do, like we decided like this year, we're going to start doing some lighter, you know what I mean? Some yeah. lighter. Right, 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 right. right. It's been we're a gonna, very heavy year. Yeah, we're going to start doing some lighter things. And, but also and keeping people, our integrity. Yeah, and keeping the authenticity. But you know, there's a way to do that and still have some fun. Yeah.
Yeah. By the way, where are we right now so we can tell everybody? Because the background is beautiful. It looks like an oasis. This well, is Gammy's Island, actually. Yeah, this is Gammy's Island. Gammy's Island is right there. Will calls this her lake. Oh, really? This That's, is your lake? No, no, no. That's Gammy's Island. And her lake. And this is. Her, her lake. 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 Her, her lake being so Jada. So this is your lake. Yeah. Well, that's what Mr. Smith says. So you know. <laughs> he's he's well, the patriarch. He's the patriarch. I can't with you. I can't. <laughs> that's what Mr. Smith says. He says that's her lake, and he says that's her mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said that's why he wanted to get this spot. This is his dream. Like yeah. he dreamed of having his family on a piece of property. He wanted all his kids exactly. to be able to live here forever. Cause he, you know, he grew up watching Dallas. Right. Yeah. right? So he wanted, he, he, wanted his, he wanted his own Dallas, you know? So that's what he, that's the energy that he put into this place that actually has come to be because the kids are here every day yeah. still, even though they're adults and have gone off and doing their own thing. They're still here every day. We all know? come here every, every day. day. Every so day. So this is the family <laughs> compound center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jaden's Ridge. You got Willow's Peak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Trey's View. Trey's View. Um, There's and, a lot. Uh, Mom Mom's Meadow. Yeah, Mom Mom's Meadow is over so, there. So yeah, we have different places that um, for different family members. Y'all Smiths do it big, and now you've created another iconic thing with the red table. Congratulations, ladies. Congratulations. Thank you. It's, it's Thank unbelievable. You. It's been quite a journey.